guys come on my live programs, right? And they say, hey, I, I only want to bang nines on this program. I say, okay, cool. Um, have you ever banged a nine before? No. Have you ever banged an eight before? No. Have you ever banged a seven before? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe once. Uh, she lost her friends at, at the club and blah, blah. Okay, that's a luck situation that doesn't count. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Important video, this is going to be the roadmap to finding your dream girl, okay? I get a lot of clients that I speak to every day on a daily basis. They say, hey, I just want a full package, beautiful, smart, sexy, you know, educated, feminine, elegant, etc. girl. How do I do that, okay? How do I go from wherever I'm currently at, which is usually not getting very many results, okay, or just dating average chicks or below average chicks, okay, sometimes maybe a little bit above average, but how do I get that full package like 10, okay, or that 9.5, okay? First off, it's not some little magical thing where you go from getting terrible results and no experience with any girls that are attractive to suddenly just securing your dream girl, okay? This is a process where you have to kind of level up, so to speak, okay? What I teach and what I train gives you the roadmap and the, and the tools and utilities to maximize probabilities at each level so that you can grease the slide, so to speak, and optimize your chances of sleeping with any particular stranger or any particular lead that comes into your funnel. Now, you have to, like, guy, like guys come on my live programs, right? And they say, hey, I, I only want to bang nines on this program. I say, okay, cool. Um, have you ever banged a nine before? No. Have you ever banged an eight before? No. Have you ever banged a seven before? Uh, yeah, maybe once. Uh, she lost her friends at, at the club and blah, blah. Okay, that's a luck situation that doesn't count. You're thinking, how do I not fuck this up? Fuck, I don't want to go back to the eights. I don't want to go back to the sevens. Um, I must, I, I should deviate from my normal game plan that I know works because I need to, th this girl's special, right? So you're putting her on a pedestal, right? You're worried about what you're saying, what you're thinking, or uh, what she's thinking. You're worried about if you can gain points here or, or lose points here or this or that, and you, you analyze to death and you micromanage to death and you lose the girl, okay? And that's going to happen in the beginning. But you're not even going to have that opportunity until you build your skill set, okay, so that you are regularly closing sevens and regularly closing eights, okay? So make no mistake about it. There's no, way, there's no shortcut or way around this. You have to, if you want to become that cool, high-value alpha guy that has access to multiple hot, very hot, okay, as opposed to the, you know, the, the disgraceful dating coaches all over the niche that have girlfriends or wives that are like a five or a six, okay, like Todd V. Dating, okay, like Julian Blanc, like uh, Brad Branson from RSD, okay, these are, these are or Max, RSD Max. These are examples of guys that proclaim to be gurus, Okay, and then settle down with crap, settle down with trash. Okay, and everyone comes to the rescue and says, "Oh, that must girl, ha that girl must have a, a ten personality. Everything besides her looks must be a ten. Because why else would this guru go with her?" Okay, highly doubtful. Okay, but <laughs> that being said, you can find a lot of amazing qualities across the board in hot girls too. I've said that in many videos. There's tons of really hot girls in the world. Okay, and that doesn't need to be your only criteria for securing a full, you know, a high value, high quality girl, you should want a whole bunch of other things as well. But um, in order to get to that level, you need to work your way up, right? So you have to, like, for instance, I have a, a review here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read this really quick, because this, this is kind of like the, the structure that it takes, okay? Okay, so in this review, the guy says, dude, I got to give you a personal thank you for everything. I got the seduction system in 2017, okay, some of Occam's Razor, and went from 18 kills to 120 up until October of 2018, all right? 18 girls up to 120. A lot of guys are like, oh, I don't want to bang a lot of girls. I just want that one high package or full package girl, high value girl. Look, look at this, 18 lay count to 120 lay count, and then I met my beautiful girlfriend that I'm now getting really close with. I went through so many women, and the stuff you taught me made me a high value and logistical guy. I said, great to hear what month you get around May. So we did 100 new girls in 17 months, okay? So, um, and, and that's very common, all right? Guys dial into the system, they start getting a whole bunch of results, and then they work their way up to hotter and hotter and higher and higher value girls, okay? And 
this is another phenomenon that is taking place. Not only are you becoming cooler and more acclimated to being high value around other high value women, but it's like their hotness and their and their high value attributes stop becoming a big deal to you. Why? Because you have a whole bunch of other girls like that as options. That's a key point. If you if this girl's like way out of your league and way out of your reach because your game sucks and because your value is low, okay, and why would that be? It's because you're not following my shit and, and not leveling up. Okay, instead you're just fucking spinning your wheels and banging your head into the wall, which is what 99% of people are doing. Uh, and if you'd like to change that, by the way, book a free 30-minute strategy call, jump on the, the phone with either me or one of my coaches, we'll, we'll give you a full game plan on how to fix that. But as you level up and level up and get more experience, like having more options, okay, and, and more hotter girl and, and higher value options, this one particular girl is not gonna be on a pedestal anymore, this one high value girl. And, the, and there's all these kind of benefits that come along with that. When she's not on a pedestal, you're gonna act normal, it's gonna attract her more. You're not gonna be needy, because you're gonna have a other, bunch of other options like her. And you're going to, like, you know, you're not gonna be worshiping her and kissing her ass and all these things that you think are in your favor, but are actually like pussy repellent, okay? When you're like, oh my God, like this is such a great girl. Like I'm going to tell her every day how fucking perfect she is. I'm going to text her. I miss you so much. And you're the most amazing creature ever whenever we're apart. And I'm just going to kiss her ass as much as possible and just make her, make it fully known that she's amazing. Okay. Guess what? Every other guy in the world is doing that too. You know why? Because she's a hot girl. Okay. She's been getting that kind of attention since she was 16. That doesn't mean purposely be a huge asshole. It just doesn't mean be a huge fucking pussy and be kissing her ass nonstop. Okay. So now... When you have these options, now you're like, okay, I have a whole bunch of nines. Like I cut off nines regularly. Okay, like if I have a girl, I don't, I don't judge, I don't keep a girl around just because she's hot. Okay, I keep her around based on her behavior. If she's being cunty, if she's being bitchy, if she's being a pain in my ass, okay, and, and playing games or whatever else, disrespecting me, I cut her off. That's it. She's done. Okay, and they're like, the nine, the nines are always very surprised by this. Oh, no one's ever done this to me. Oh, like, you, you know, no one's ever criticized this. Okay. Why? Because everyone's a pussy. And no one, no, like every guy is willing to eat her shit, which is why she does a lot of those things. Or a lot of them do a lot of those things because they can get away with it. And every guy is going to keep eating their shit. Okay. You want to be in the position where not only are you not eating their shit, not kissing their ass, not putting them on a pedestal. This doesn't mean being a huge asshole to them. I still treat them well. You should still treat them well. But you have boundaries, you're not a pussy, you're a man, and you stand up for yourself when those boundaries are violated, okay? And then, and she's also not a big deal, deal to you whatsoever or important in, in the sense that, like, it's this, it's this, like, thing you must hold on to. Why? Because you have access to a bunch more. You have a bunch more in rotation, you're actually going on dates with a bunch more. It doesn't really matter to you if you keep her around or not, okay? And that's, that's where you want to be. So, if you are looking to massively level up your skills, massively get really good at this, and then get into that thing where, mode where you're leveling up, you're increasing your quantity of women, you're increasing your quality of women, you're becoming more high value over time, you're having access to more women and hotter women, and then you're gonna hit that tipping point where now you have a bunch of full package girls and you say, I like this one the best, I'm gonna make that my girlfriend or wife, okay? And then you've won, you've beat the game, you've beat the system, okay? If you wanna learn how to do that, book a call, 30 minutes, I'll go over a game plan with you and I will tell you how to get there as fast as possible. As I said, there's no shortcuts or magic tricks. I can get you from point A to point B as fast as possible and grease the wheels, grease the slide as much as possible and make it all as, as seamless as possible. Okay, my system does most of the work for you. Okay, it removes all the guesswork. It, it tells you what to do. Ten, so you're 10 steps ahead, what to do, what to say, how to make everything go down. I know that I know every little piece of this game inside out. I promise you that. Okay, and so no matter where you're at, even a virgin, like I have new virgins on my eight-week mentorship that are closing, at, as I said in other videos, at a higher rate than a lot of you guys that would consider yourself to be intermediate or advanced. Why? Because they've tapped into the system and I'm guiding them along. So now they just have their schedule packed with dates and they're, they're armed with the exact techniques on how to close and how to retain. Okay, so then they become like a deadly force in the game. Okay, and, and, that, and then they, you know, they're, they're, they're increasing the quality already, okay, or out of the gate. So this, this is, it doesn't necessarily mean to be a long process, but you're not even going to get anywhere close to acquiring that dream girl until you can really boost your results and until you have a proven and effective um, tried and true system. Okay, that's what I provide. If you're interested, get on the call 30 minutes below. We will talk more. Subscribe if you're not already. 
and lots of good videos coming. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout stuff.